once that two weeks is up, you're done. Can't order anymore, and that drop will not drop again. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to be talking about a subject that not everyone really talks about on YouTube. So everyone on YouTube kind of, and I understand why, but they sensationalize builds um, and how easy they are and how fast they are and how nothing goes wrong and, oh yeah, just tick, 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 tick. Everything always works, everything always great. And it's not like that. So today, we're gonna jump in and talk to you guys about the harsh reality of project cars. All right, so the harsh reality of project cars is a number of things. Firstly, the mess. I had a really nice area out here. It was beautiful, it was tidy, it was clean. And now there's just mess everywhere. There is parts I don't need, parts I might need, the car itself, which is essentially a big paperweight, um, half done projects, like the subframe. Uh, there's, there's parts just everywhere. And I know that that's expected, but when you're a small YouTuber like myself, and you don't have a big workshop and a this and a that. Um, yeah, there is mess everywhere because you're trying to get everything done. You're trying to be productive. You're trying to, you know, get it to all work and work like YouTube. Um, and it just doesn't. It doesn't always work like that. Things take forever. There's holdups and all things like that. And that's the other thing I need to talk about is the holdups. So obviously I'm trying to get this build done as quickly as I can. One for me, I want it done. I want to drive this thing but two for you guys. So you guys can be like, sweet, that is a sick build. Let's get on to the next one. And you can see everything progress nice and quickly and all that kind of thing. Um, but to be fair, when I'm ordering parts and it takes however long to get parts from Japan. Overnight parts from Japan. For example, the seals on the gearbox. We ordered the seals on the gearbox maybe two months ago. Two seals, the front and the rear seal, just the main seals. They got to the Toyota dealership and then they just disappeared. So they had to order them again from Japan, which is like a month, and they should be in this week. But that's something that we wanted to do ages ago, couldn't do, can't do, because we don't have the seals, you don't have the seals. And that's going directly through Toyota. So, you know, ordering parts can take forever. Then things that you think are gonna work and aren't gonna work because they just don't. You know, in your head, it's like, oh yeah, that's gonna work this way, that way, whatever, and it doesn't. For example, this bad boy. So when I ordered the um, the intercooler, it looked as though that the stock auxiliary fan would work, and it doesn't, and that's fine, but it's just another setback. It's more time, it's more money. It's, you know, it, it takes forever. So if you're looking at doing a uh, project car, expect that stuff. Like I said, YouTubers will make it seem and I try to do this as well, make it seem like everything works. It's smooth as smooth sailing. It's like that scene on, you know, Fast and Furious where it's just like click, 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 zip, 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 done. You've just, you know, made your car a 10 second car but you haven't, it doesn't, it takes forever, and it costs a lot. So there's always holdups. As soon as you find a holdup like this, order more parts, wait more time, you know? Then you've also got the, the anxiety. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I sit inside, I look at the car, and I'm just like, is that ever gonna get done? You know, like, and we're doing, we're making good progress. Like this is going fast for a build. But I'm like, is this ever gonna get done? Am I ever gonna drive this car? Like, I feel like I'm not. I feel like it's just gonna be a paperweight here forever. And it's what it feels like every time, even if you're doing a motor swap and it's taking you a weekend, it feels like it's gonna take forever. So you've gotta be prepared. The car is not gonna be on the road for four times as long as you're expecting. You expect to do it in a month, it's gonna take you four, maybe six, maybe a year, you know? It could be one month, could be two months. Three months. Could be four months. I can see that happening, yes. Eight months. That's a realistic timeline. Like, it's gonna take a long time. And it does get to you because you're like, oh man, like, I just want this done, that done. And sometimes you're limited, like, myself, I can't weld. I could probably run a beta weld and 
hold two pieces of metal together, but it's going to be disgusting. It's going to be splatter and it's going to be horrible. So my mate Kel is going to be doing all the welding on this car and the poor bloke's hurt his back. So he's just out of action. So, you know, that, that holds up his life, the build, the whatever. Um, and it's unforeseen circumstances that more holdups. Now, I know I could go and just go and like get a welder in and do that kind of thing, but I would feel terrible doing that because Kel has been such a massive help on this build. Uh, and we're kind of like building it together now. It started off as my build and he's got so involved in it and been so helpful with it that it's kind of like we're kind of building it together now. So for me to just kind of shut him out just because he's hurt his back, I think it's a bit of a dog move. So I will wait um, for him to get in a position where he's happy to, you know, and comfortable to come and weld. And then we can get back into it and he can teach me and I can do bits and things like that. But it's just, you know, things happen and it's more holdups and more setbacks. This will get done. Um, and I'm, I'm not doing this video to like, you know, be like, oh, Yep, it's gone on the back burner for six months. It's not, like I'm still kicking and kicking at it. Like we've still got bits to do. Um, I'm doing part of it, like I'm kind of halfway through part of it right now. Um, that's why I'm leaving the bonnet closed because I don't want you guys to see what I'm doing. But it's, you know, it's gonna keep going. But it just does get frustrating. Like I, I know I've seen some of your comments and you're like, bro, come on, like let's get this build done. And I'm like, bro, I want to, like I really do. I wish I could TJ hunt it and just throw money at it and get it done, but I can't. Um, the the reality of it is it's gotta be done logistically in a, you know, in a fair amount of time. It's hard on me, it's hard on you guys, because I know you guys wanna see it done as fast as TJ Hunt or Matt Armstrong do their videos, but we're not there yet, you know? We will get there, the channel will get bigger, um, but for now, it's, it's a slow process. Now, I did want to quickly jump in here, do a little bit of advertising for myself. Um, we are trying to line up a merch drop for you guys. It'd be crewnecks, it'd be hoodies um, with the logo, all that kind of stuff. You'll be able to order it, get it shipped to you. It'd be a website. It'd be you know through a certain company that um, one of my mates has actually used. So it's a great company and I will be putting the links on everything. I'll put it on the channel, I'll put it on my Instagram, I'll put it on my Facebook, everything that you can see from me, I will put it there. So if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Uh, if you're not following me on Instagram or the Letter Legion page on Instagram, jump on there and you know click a follow if you are interested in some merch uh, because it's only gonna be open for two weeks. It'll be a two week kind of period that that um, ad will drop, the, sorry, the website will drop and you can only pre-order for the two weeks. Once that two weeks is up, you're done. Can't order anymore, and that drop will not drop again. So it's gonna be an exclusive color range, um, et cetera, et cetera. So once that's done, you're never gonna be able to get those colors again. Um, the following drop will be a completely different drop. So keep an eye out for that. That'll be coming soon. And the final thing that I do wanna talk about is <sighs> things blow out because you've got the while you're there jobs, okay? A lot of you know what while you're there jobs are. While you're there jobs are, for example, well, while the motor's out, may as well wrap the liner the trans tunnel. That's a while you're there job. Because if you wanna wrap the liner in the future, you're not gonna be able to, you gotta pull the trans, you gotta pull the engine, all that kind of stuff. So while it's out, you paint it. While you're there, the engine's out, let's paint the engine bay. While you're there, you know, that kind of thing. So for example, when I did the 2J build, ah, while I've got it all out and I'm doing a build, let's put a V160 behind it. To be fair, back 14 years ago when I put that in, it was only four grand. It wasn't like 12 now. Um, but there's a lot of while you're there jobs that pop up because you go, well, let's do it now. And then we don't have to ever worry about it. I My subframe um, is fine. There's no damage to my subframe. Um, well, sorry, where my subframe bolts to. In a lot of E46s, they're cracked, they're damaged because they're weak points of the car. That's why you've got the reinforcement plates that you can order from places. Um, I'm putting them in now. I don't need to because mine aren't damaged, but why? Like while I'm there, let's do it. While it's off the road, let's drop it out and do it. So my subframe's been out for probably, I don't know, two months now, but poor Kel's hurt his back. He can't come on weld. So, you know, we're just kind of waiting for him to be able to do that and then we'll weld them up, subframe back in, and I feel like we're making some progress. But the, the, the progression of a build, it feels like 
like my boss said to me, he goes, you got to crack some eggs before you make an omelet. Makes sense. But when you're pulling a subframe out, pulling an engine out um, of a car that was running and you, you know, you're pulling the back wheels off and you're, you're pulling bits of interior out that you've previously modified and put in, you know, you're pulling the whole front of your car off. You, you feel like you're just scrapping the thing and you feel like it's never going to start going back together. So for me, putting the engine in was a great first step for that. I was like, ooh, 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 we, you know, we're getting, getting somewhere. But as soon as we did that, one step forward, five steps back, we found out all the different things we've got to modify in the engine bay to make it fit, et cetera, et cetera. So as much as I was like, ooh, yeah, this is good, it wasn't. And it's just more stuff. Now. I'm excited for it. I love this stuff. Uh, I love building cars. That's why I did a YouTube channel. That's why I'm here with you guys. But it is frustrating and it is hard to watch a project like this take forever. Um, so guys, I am doing my best. I am going as fast as I can. Um, if you do want to jump on that merch drop, that will help the build because, um, you know, There'll be a little bit, like a little bit of money in my pocket maybe from it. And that'll go straight to the build. It all goes straight to the channel. Um, everything that you guys do that helps me, my AdSense, my merch, my everything goes directly back into the channel. Uh, it's not like I'm like, oh, I'm just gonna go on holiday with it. Well, I'm, I'm not. That goes straight back into this car so that you guys get the content and it goes straight back to you. So guys, <laughs> I hope that you understand where I'm coming at with this video. Um, I hope that you've enjoyed it and I hope that you can relate to the agonizing pain of slow builds. If you do, if you have, please jump in the comments and let me know. Please like the video because it helps me out so much and follow me on all the different things if you're interested in the merch drop because it will be coming soon. Uh, hopefully, by the time this video comes out, it's available. If it is, link will be in the description. If not, check out my socials and I'll be giving you guys updates of when it will be dropping. But I'll be doing it as soon as possible because coming into winter in Australia, um, I wanna get some like hoodies and crewnecks out for you guys, ready and rare, and so you are good to wear all your new merch for the winter and stay nice and warm. So guys, thank you for coming along and I'll see you all in the next one. See you guys.